Okay, so now we have um, uh, a uh, slightly more involved uh, example here. And this is, again, another uh, uh, formula which you may have seen before. Okay, so let's take a look at this, right? 1 squared, 2 squared, n squared gives you kind of more of this complicated formula. Okay, so I think you guys may have seen this before, but uh, if not, um, we'll just use this. You know, the main thing is we want to be able to prove this is true. Okay, so um, let's take a look at it. Let's do step one, right? So step one, right, is, um, is uh, n equals... One. Okay. Now, a little thing I wanted to remind you is that um, sometimes it's it's uh, um, sometimes n does not necessarily equal one. It's just the first term. I guess is, is is sort of my point. So, anyway, I just want to throw that in there. So let's take a look at this. So we know that one first term is one. Okay. So that gives us uh, one times one plus one, right? Plus two times one, right? over 6. Okay, is that true? 1 times 2 times 3 equals 6 over 6, and that equals 1. That is true. Okay, step 1. Step 2. Okay, we will assume n equals k is true. All right, so we get uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared and so on, blah, 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 to k squared equals k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1, okay? And that's all over 6, okay? So we're assuming that. We can just move on to the next step. However, we will call this equation 1, okay? So the next thing we do is we have to prove, right, n equals k plus 1, okay? We have to prove that the subsequent term is true, okay? So we do 1 squared plus 2 squared, blah, 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 keep on going on, k squared, right? And then we're, I'm going to add on a k plus 1 squared, right? Term to this, right? This is what we're trying to prove, right? Equals, this is where it gets a little messy, but it will come, it'll come cleaner as we go along, k plus 1. And I'm going to go and call this k plus 2 because it's going to k plus 1. I'm plugging in there and adding 1 onto that. So that becomes k plus 2. So I hope that's clear. This becomes 2k plus 1 plus 1. Okay, I'm just going to leave that alone, leave that like that. Okay, so this we have to prove. Okay, in fact, I'll circle that right now. This is what we're trying to prove. Okay, um, great. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to add a k plus 1 squared term. Okay, and hopefully that will make our life easier. So I'm going to take equation one. Oh, this is equation two, by the way. This is equation two. This is equation one. So I'm going to take uh, equation one and, and I'm going to add two to both sides. So what, let's do that. So it's one squared plus two squared, right? Plus, ba ba ba, k squared plus k plus one squared, okay? So I'm just adding k plus one squared to both sides. Okay, now. Let's take this term and add k plus 1 squared to both sides. k, right, times k plus 1, right, times 2k plus 1, all over 6, right, this, this term. And again, I'm going to, since we're going to be adding these, right, this k1 plus 1 squared, I'm just going to put a 6 on the top and bottom just because we know we're going to have to do that anyway. So let's do that, right, 6k plus 1 squared, right, over 6. Okay, good. So let's uh, let's take a look at it and see see what happens here. So that becomes let's simplify this. Let's uh, let's say that um, yeah you know what the best thing to do is let's do this k k plus one 2k plus one. Okay, and I'm going to say that this is six k plus one k plus one right k plus 1 squared, okay? And of course, this whole thing's going to be all over 6. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this k, which we can do, of course, because of associate property. I'm going to move this over here, right? Right? So I'm going to multiply this through by k, okay? And so what, that, what happens to this? That becomes uh, 
uh, 2k squared, right, plus k. Okay, so all I did is since I multiplied this 2k, um, so that's what we have, right? So what do we have now? Okay, now I can factor out that k plus 1 term, okay? This is our k plus 1 term, and I'm going to factor that out. And we get k plus 1, right? And what now I'm going to do this. We have 2k squared plus k, right? Let's get rid of this. Plus k, right? And then plus... And I'm distributing this, 6k, right, plus 6, okay? Again, this is all over 6. Now, let's take a look at this. All right, this simply becomes what? This term here simply becomes k plus 1, 2k squared, right, plus 7k, right, plus 7k, right, plus 6, right, and this is, a, again, all over, I'm going to do, call it 1, 6, all right. This, we know, simply factors out to, okay, k plus 1. This is going to factor out, right? We're going to factor this out into two trinomials, and what, what do we get? We actually get k plus 2 right, 2k plus 3 over 6, okay? Now, uh, and this, of course, equals this term here, right? So that becomes 1 plus 2 squared plus so-and-so plus k plus k plus 1 squared, okay? So what do we have here? Okay, this 2k plus 3, we see that's 2k plus 2 plus 1. We know this is 2k plus 3, so I'm going to change this, right? We know that this term simply is 2k plus 1, right, plus 1, okay? And what do we have? We have taken equation 1. We added k plus 1 squared to both sides. Okay, we did a bunch of crazy algebra here, right? But we see that we end up with the same equation, right? 1 squared plus 2 squared, so on and so on, plus k plus 1 squared. And then this gave us the same identical equation. Okay, so we took equation 1, added k plus 1 to both sides, okay? And then we end up with this equation. Therefore, we can say that k plus 1 when we add n equals k plus 1 is a true statement. Since we proved, we've gone down the list, we proved step 1, 2, and 3 are all good, we know that this also is a true statement. Okay? And uh, good. So, um, yeah, let me line this up there. Okay? So, um, so that's how you go about mathematical induction. It, there's a little bit of creativity involved, but basically if you follow those three steps, um, and you can take equation 1, do something to it, and make it look like equation 2 in step 3. Then you have proved it, assuming the first term you're okay on, okay? Once you do that, you can take any sequence, and you can say without a doubt that this is actually true from the first term up to infinite number of terms, okay? So that's how you prove things with uh, mathematical induction, and thank you very much for using educator.com.